this on notice. There are like quite a few characters in this roster who are committing crimes <laughs> and nobody talks about it. We Fit Trainer has been sneaking through like the back lines and stealing stocks for years. Okay. But you see so few because oh their combos aren't real. Yeah, you get one there off of deep breathing, and all of a sudden, and if you get mi mixed on that setup, mm -hmm. you get destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it took just a couple of hits, and already it's fairly even. John just needs another big opening, but Ling is not trying to let it happen. The turn of pressure, the dash attacks, all really good horizontal stuff to try and stop John from getting that sun salutation and the deep breathing online, yep. because that will be the deal breaker for sure. One good thing that might play into Ling's favor yeah. leading into numbers is he had to play Antimony before, which okay. was into Steve, so he had to play very patient, and then he did go right into Jostathan Gamer, who was on fire. True, and true was playing with the Rob, so like you're still forced to play that passive zoning style game. And it looks like that is completely like playing out here against numbers as well. Right, okay, I like the header option. Kind of covers the same space that the turnip would, but definitely a bit of a mix up timing wise. Good stuff from Ling, still holding it down center stage and trying to put the pressure on still with the turnips. Good stuff. Yeah, for numbers, really all you need to do is that once you grab center stage again, like right now, yeah. all of a sudden danger is afoot. And that's why Ling immediately started floating. You mm -hmm. come meet me up here, I'll take <laughs> right. I'll take an up air. That's cool, because by the time I get out of disadvantage, your deep breathing's gone. Exactly. I'm yeah. cool with that, I'm cool with that situation. Yeah, good stuff from Ling. You do not want one misstep against that deep breathing. But this is also not a very good spot to be in either. John Numbers with the up air extension too and a little bit of a call out, but not finding the hit. Ooh, and going out there to meet him. That's actually something you have to do against Weeper Trainers at least once or twice a set because they're so good at stalling. But sometimes the autopilot might kick in right, and you can right. get him on that. You, know, you got to catch him just hitting the deep breather and hitting that neutral special. But I'm just trying to get a breath roll. Please, <laughs> please, back off. Ooh, okay, I like that. Trying to put some pressure on Ling's landing, but not really finding anything. Still mixing up or cutting off the options at least. Yep. Off stage here, big back air. Numbers is not afraid to meet you off stage ever, especially in situations like that. Uh, not going to die just yet. Great DI up to the corner. If that was deep breathing, that would have been death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Still Ling holding on to this. I don't think, I think you still need like another 20 before Weefit can like snag a throw. <laughs> right. It's going to be tough. I think John Numbers taking it easy, charging up those moves here on the side. The platforms are really good, obviously, we see right there. Finally sneaking out some solid special moves and keeping it really even. Yeah, that was good defense because even though Numbers was trying to like, he was trying to swing the final opening. He did it all in center stage while short hopping around. So right. at most, you're taking an aerial on an air-to-air -air rather than taking a massive, like, down tilt. You don't let Ling get something, like, big out of that lead that he had with the stop. Right, right. Some solid ledge pressure, though. I like the Peach Bomber mix-up. Now John's stuck at the ledge. The turnips aren't super impactful, but that ledge from there is very good to get things going. He does make numbers always go where he wants with the terms. That is a good thing. Because, yeah, yeah. like, you do have to watch out for the, the header. Like, right, that's right. The, the main thing that you're dealing with in that situation. But Turnip's always making him go low and go to ledge. He's always forcing a ledge trap, and he can try and punish that header above ledge. Now, Bruce is so hard to hit, though. Even though you know the header's coming, you still can't hit him. Even just on stage, he's somehow <laughs> elusive at 133, just dashing back and forth and really tacking on these incremental hits. So good, and the dash attack off the platform, too. This is a really good position for Numbers right now. He already committed to the jump and the float. Oh. You are so brave for that! <laughs> he just went right in between and said, please fire the Sun Salutation. And he could have canceled it at any time and went up there for an up air, but he believed hard enough that that's what Numbers was looking for. He was looking for an air dodge read instead, and Ling did not budge. That was wild. And finally, that same exact situation working out for Numbers instead the smallest lead right now, and there it goes. You're John not getting on back. that. Yeah. Do not try to challenge that up tilt, by the way. No. Like, it is <laughs> one of those moves that looks like it's nothing, but you timed that? Ooh. Nope. <laughs> okay, all right, forget the up tilt. Numbers is uh, timing things on very not super active moves. Right. So, <laughs> so many solid options, too. 82% on Ling after almost a few seconds off of the Angel platform. And the deep breathing is so dangerous, too. This is not where you want to be. Oh, oh, oh what are you doing down there? <laughs> Fighting numbers off stage is like how most bracket runs end for many a people. But Ling is just challenging for it, and it's working so far. Okay, I like this route here, too. Touching the stage, dash attacking back for some stage control. Now stuck under that platform again, safe from the turnips but not from that forward air, okay. That up air is ever looming, deep breathing is still on deck. We are approaching oh. the two minutes and 30 seconds mark, so it is getting away from being able to kind of hide for a good amount of time, because Numbers has a decent, like a half decent percent lead here. Wow, oh, I like that back air shield dash tag, not gonna do it for another while, but the up smash almost taking it. I think that might have okay. been deep breathing's extra weight, to yeah. be honest, I think that might have helped out. But 118, 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that could have been real bad. The forwarder comes through. Numbers needs one punish out of shield. He doesn't get anything, the though. The scramble right now. And what an angle on the header. The up air takes it. John Numbers bringing it all the way back. Route control was the name of the game at the end of that there. If he does not get that volleyball, or soccer ball, excuse me, to go up there and force him to have to float over, he gets the up air. But if Ling fades away, you still have stage positioning. We're going to see when it gets down to it here. It's coming up. Forced to have to use the jump and the and the float. Right, right. And he didn't want to go back to ledge because it was still following him. You could have, but because of the fact that I think he had Sun Salutation, uh, Sun Salutation charged, he could have still made him air dodge after him and the double jump was already burned, which means you would have had the umbrella early. Right, so his right. only safe option really was to go high or stay right where he was and air dodge down. And number said no. That was really good coverage by numbers. Just such a nice angle, too. And you, you talked about earlier in the set how the turnups were useful in the, almost the same exact way for Ling. Yep. And then we see it worked out for John Numbers instead when it mattered the most at the end of game one. So going into game two, definitely some adjustments to be made. And it's going to be on Kalos as oh well. Oh, my goodness. This is, KG, yeah. we have history with, with Ling on this stage. We sure do, and, actually. Uh, just people, just look up, like, Eat Smash and... You'll, you'll just go from there. But yeah. so the thing with this stage is that Peach can actually camp really well here. If right. you want to get around deep breathing, you go on that platform, you double jump, and there's nothing Wee Fit's going to do to get up there and really do anything about it. But this also does give some new routes for Ling to get around. I think some of that pressure that Numbers was putting at him off stage. Right, right. I, this is the stage where the fans get 3-0, though. True. So it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be tough. Yeah, is, oh. That is a beautiful line I'm going to start <laughs> describing this stage with. We got the dot eyes, though. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, there it goes. We have known historically, too, including in this building, that uh, whenever I'm on the mic and Ling is on the stage, oh, yeah. our Jesus does bless. So we already saw earlier, like, a couple Saturdays that got pulled, and there was one game where it was a Saturday into two stitch faces. Right, so right. just be aware that that could actually occur in this set. It okay, hold on, though. Finally, the turnip's cutting off a big portion of the recovery routes here with that wall on Kalos. Not a lot of options. Sometimes you have to face your fears at the ledge, and it's going to be the Peach down smash, frightening as ever. Ooh, threatening the Trump. I like that. Yes, and on that same playlist, simple yep. and clean. Keep it simple. Mm. Do not do anything crazy, especially here on Kalos. Just like that. Just keep stage control. Turn up pushes him out. You have a lot of survivability because of the uh, Kalos walls, right. but it doesn't matter as long as you catch him with just one good hit. All right, and that is definitely what John Numbers is looking for now. Up air almost taken with that deep breathing buff. Not quite exactly, but one more might be able to do it. John Numbers going <laughs> to take it easy. <laughs> Hide behind that <laughs> See wall that soccer ball It's like, okay, yeah. stupid, go away. <laughs> like, it it's lingers a lot longer than people oh. expect. That shield was almost broken. Oh, my God. I was, oh. I was surprised the Nair didn't break it, but that forward tilt, too, almost. Jeez. Kalos coming in clutch right there with that DI to the corner because that was actually perfect option coverage from Numbers with that shield pressure. He never let up. He kept going. But now Link, Link tried to sniper early one. If he yeah. got that down toss, he could have re-grabbed that inside beat. That might have actually been a stock. Oh, all right. Well, stitch face number one has arrived. Unbelievable. And what a good time to do it. Oh, my goodness. It's so tense at the ledge right now. But there it goes. John Numbers it's okay. Stitch face number two jump. is on its way. Don't. Don't. It, it, it's, it's on its way. <laughs> let's just let's, let's all prep for it now. All right. <laughs> And now Ling stuck at the ledge. It's a really rough percent roll and right into that forward tilt. John Numbers with the deep breathing to set up for an explosive second stock, but Ling not letting it happen. Uh, Ling just trying to keep him stuck at the ledge, but that's also where Wee Fit's home essentially is. A what? Salute the Sun full punish for running away. A rare occurrence of having uh, <laughs> uh, Numbers be the one on the chase down from the right. ledge there. It's so funny to watch John Numbers on the chase because it's just like the Terminator. She's just running at Link <laughs> really with that is. sun salutation. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm scared. I'm not even in the game. Oh, oh that was <laughs> so well played by Link. A lot of that coming from the winky face setup that he had right. too because it pushed him far enough away to keep him still stuck at ledge. Numbers could have gotten away a qu a quite a while ago, but 36% AG. Only 36 on the second stop. And that was from one sun salutation, basically. That like, is true. So really good neutral from Ling, staying as elusive as ever and finding these big forward airs. That, okay. I, that almost caught him. Yeah, <laughs> that almost did too. How did you read that fall down there? <laughs> 
All right, there's a deep breathing. Going to give Ling some time to set up for these turnips, but another great route from John Numbers. Making it back to the ledge and back to center stage. I think Ling is trying to condition a roll right now. He keeps yeah. going for, he keeps giving up like what looks like stage control to right. go for that turnip toss down, and he's playing Ooh. around ledge trap, uh, like neutral get up distance. Right. I, I'm smelling a roll read coming pretty soon here. That's if that even matters. Wow, what a route in the back here getting beat out by the side special. Looking rough for John Numbers right now, but the jab going to start something. Of Hopefully. course, yeah, Peach always in the air, so able to get away from that grounded hitbox. Numbers is bringing it up. That's the double jump okay. hit. Ooh, really nice dodge down, though. Not exactly what Numbers was expecting. Yeah, definitely with Peach's air, uh, air dodge, too. It is not a good air dodge. Right. Uh, so you don't expect him to do that, but he does read the double jump off the ledge. That gives Ling an even set. We're at one game apiece. All right, well, I was, I don't know exactly what word I'd use. <laughs> Optimistic, nervous. But I, I had a feeling it would be an even match, a back and forth <laughs> one. So I'm excited to see how it shakes out because this is a match that I think the thinkers at home will enjoy. A lot of adaptations to be had in terms of how the players are interacting at the ledge, there, how they're interacting. There is a, um, what's uh there's an indoctrination <laughs> process, if you will, <laughs> for those who like to put the headset on and talk about video games yeah. in the New York tri-state area. Okay, and okay. it usually involves going late into the night and having John Numbers <laughs> on the set. So just be aware, especially as we have now gone to FD, mm. that it's looking like that might be the possible case. <laughs> okay, it's possible. So far, it's been close. We haven't had to worry too much about it happening. Uh, I know that the staff here at the venue uh, are rooting for- They love us. They're rooting for someone to take it, but. It's gonna be. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, it, All right, it, never it, it mind. was in the future. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was future sight. This might be the game where he gets forward. one to one. Ooh, Ooh I, not tossing it there either. Just a guarantee that if he misses that forward air, he's gonna throw it into the abyss with no one in front of him. <laughs> the thought though was good. I like the thought. <laughs> we appreciate the thought. That's, that's what matters. It's the thought that Ooh, counts. Okay, John numbers back to the ledge. That is a, a little bit of a regrab. The turnip was a, a little punish, but definitely a good one nonetheless. Big back air though. I actually like what he's doing here in game three. Jokes yeah. aside, like he was always throwing it down before. Right. So game three, his conditioning is actually he's keeping them in hand. Mm -hmm. So he's forcing numbers to recover, like around what he assumed would be a turnip toss down, right. and it's right. letting Link try to mix it up. It hasn't really led to too much yet, but I do like the mix up here in game three. Ooh, okay. I like that pressure too. The dash tag gonna set up a dangerous situation. Oh, what for a frame shot! Oh, my God. That was like a seconds long frame trap too. <laughs> Everything was covered. Yeah. Like it's like, all right, you have to dodge this, and then Ooh. you got the turn up on the way down. He still keeps his turn here. Turn up toss down might be enough pretty soon. He can't find that back air though. Oh no, the missed header. Gonna get dash attack. Ling now back center stage, and as soon as I said it, finding an up air off stage as well. Good stuff. Really good offensive pressure and options. Yeah, it's good timing with it too. Instead of waiting for the like air dodge or the turn up fall to see if you do something, yeah. just go out there and get it that right. time. <laughs> right. Finally forcing the issue. John Numbers trying to force uh, some aggression with that deep breathing forward tilt, but Ling fighting right back. Ooh. Ling has been winning the ledge game. That is not a good thing for Wii Fit. If you are starting to lose the ledge game as Wii Fit, particularly with John Numbers' style, you are going to have to Ooh. fight him on stage. Granted, he has these short hop for uh, forwarders and such, right. but you're forced to chase after that float, which is giving Ling way more wins. Okay, we got John Numbers are back at the ledge. Ling has just found the hits, picking all the right options, even that grab off of the regular get up. Yeah, the breathing though is exactly what the John Numbers fans are looking for. Look out! Look, like, look at Wong. Yep. Wong he kept in there, but there yeah. it is, that deep breathing up air. Uh, he's still got deep breathing at the start of the stock. So let's just make this clear: if a falling nair happens, bad times for Ling. So I'm playing anti nair. Okay. Well, as soon as you said it, <laughs> it is gone, and a bit of a scramble at center stage with the header. It's gonna be good for Ling here, trying to set up for that pressure like we talked about, but yep. it's not coming through. Ooh, that was brave, dude. The roll on. And, you know, I think it, I think with him too, he's like a dash attack doesn't kill me here. Up right. smash does, but he has to read it. Right. He has brought this. Oh my god, he's brought this all the way back. Yes, and the deep breathing again. If we can see John Numbers make it back to stage safely, I am worried for Ling here. But the back air, really good option. Punish that F tilt. Um, 144 to 87 right now. Ling can find a forward air and close it out at the ledge. Potentially a, a perfectly spaced back here too. But this Numbers has had a lot of time to fight there, so right. I think he's starting to adjust to the ledge game. As you see, oh. he's getting on safely more often. And there is same another <laughs> exact same up air from that last stock. John numbers a few too many forward tilts, maybe just a little too ambitious, getting punished huge by Ling. 
Finally firing back, though, with that sun salutation and some good pressure, but... No, you weren't wrong on that. That was very clear. He yeah. still closed it out. Yep. That that was really good pressure that he had with that uh, short hop fair. Going for the episode afterwards. He's trying to uh, like get a quick snipe on an early one here, but nothing really leads to it. That was that intentional. Was yeah. That was 100% <laughs> intentional. Okay, John Numbers fighting back. I like that coverage and a good dodge in now all of a sudden with the stage control. Okay. Oh my goodness, um, Ling got that nair, and it, all of a sudden, all the tension left. But John Numbers with a deep breathing soon. Yep. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's floating around the idea of getting there another one refreshed. There we go. We've approached the three minute mark as well, and the oh, second the stitch phase has shown up. He's got it in hand. He cannot afford to get hit at ledge with a down toss one. That will probably end the stock. Yeah, but I'm still somehow worried <gasps> for Ling. Oh my, he just let it rip. The missed grab. He waits for it, oh. keeps the pressure, and he tries to get up the jump. He figured maybe he might freak out to like sh like a shield poke or something, but John Number still gets a hold on. Deep breathing is still very dangerous. He can even this game up very quickly. I think everybody on the screen knows that too. Ling playing pretty conservatively right now, trying to wait it out, and the dash attack hitting the shield. So very sad. He goes for the same setup again, but that time numbers fading back. <gasps> and the Another third stitch. stitch! I'm telling you, if I am here, John if I am here, Ling is pulling R and Jesus. And so there, there's problems to be had for numbers as currently he's got to get around this. He does get ledge trumps, but nothing comes of it. What a good option. Forces the re-grab situation to reset back at the ledge here. The header, no impact. Oh my goodness. I think dash attack with the- John Oh, you did numbers. not die that, did you? Are you kidding me? From the logo of FD? Are you kidding me? He was at 80 before the hit. Unbelievable. I what? Thought, <laughs> what I have seen option. multiple occurrences of robbery today. One of them was when Jackal died at 66 to a Shulk up tilt. Oh. We have now seen a second occurrence of it here. As he rolled back, his DI was out. You can see the look on his face in the camera like, Damn it! I made a mistake. My goodness, that rollback. Even Peach looks a little shocked. Yo, look we at see? Face. Yeah. <laughs> like, She's like, huh? It's like, did you? Why did you do this to me? He did what option? <laughs> like, huh? did Link press something? Like, here? Er that looks maybe like a jump. Cause she sparkled. Right? I. <sighs> oh yeah, actually, wait, is this up smash? <laughs> I can tank it. I have. I can take it. I. <laughs> I, I, I can take this hit. It would well, clank. It would if he got it off. It would it'd probably just clank. I don't oh know. Oh my God. Well, unbelievable. Now with what was as much blessing of RNG as you could ask for, yeah. with three of them and a dot as last game, you are now facing a two to one deficit instead. A lot of counter picks to be had. It's going to be FD to start it off, but it's it's going to be a bit of a struggle to try and bring it all the way back here. John Numbers just needs one more game, but I know Ling is going to try and bring it all the way back. That was the like lightest threatening hit right. I've ever seen. Like, all right, yeah, what you gonna do about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, you have to respect the, you still have to respect it. Exactly, after that last game with the mid-range answer, just like from downtown, you just gotta respect all the options. I am from so much numbers. more scared of Sun Salutation after right? that. I, am, <laughs> I, I never want to see that move fully charged ever again. Uh, 65 to 93 though, very close start. And uh, so we just went to a minute again. It's been very difficult to close out stocks, right. not just with like getting hits, but the good DI of Ling and also deep breathing keep, like it didn't work that time, but it, deep breathing was giving a lot of extra survivability to numbers on multiple stocks last game. Right, right. And it's not necessarily that the survivability lasts long. It's that those big hits are so few and far between because mm. of how the game is playing out. Okay, good landing, just going all the way up with the high route back to center stage. Good shield pressure from John Numbers, but a big response from Ling. See Ling, like Ling knew with the rage right. and potentially uh, with the good DI, like it wasn't really gonna be a true combo. What an answer to a turn yeah. pulled, oh my God. So I put that back down. <laughs> I got your projectile. <laughs> okay. Oh, the header bait into the throw. That almost worked. Almost. Oh, good patience, my God. That was such a good position for Numbers. He hadn't gone for that in a while. He mm -hmm. is very comfortable with doing that. But against Peach, you have to be careful, but he already burned so much. As soon as he saw the air dodge burn, free punish. That was so sick. John Numbers just up in the accuracy in the last couple of games. And, number, Ooh, and fighting back. What? That was almost a grab right there. That was after not getting his setup he wanted to. He wanted right, to roll right. in off of that slow toss soccer ball to get that roll. The and get, oh, another one. It lingered. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, making it back to the ledge, though. Ling, I love that movement, getting the grab. You honestly just pull another one at this point. We're already up the sure, pool. Yeah. Honestly, this seems low. I'm, I'm expecting a couple more. Just, I'm expecting a couple more forward airs too. Solid hit catching that option from the ledge. Ling now with a comfortable lead. Probably the first time we've really seen such a comfortable lead yeah, in the true. set. Uh, 
<laughs> as we have said before too with it, every time that comfortable lead exists, it's like numbers just turns it up in right. the moment. Uh, it, he's also one who's really good at playing the long defensive game. He knows how to play around people who have a good lead like that because he's... Eyes? Is that Perhaps? Dada's? <gasps> oh Ooh. my god, Dada's might actually mess up that, uh, that combo confirmed. Yeah. Wow, what a swing. Got the back throw to set up the edge guard again. Turn up, oh, not going to bait the turn up toss. One with the Nair instead. Wow. John He's numbers. been really good at catching those neutral get-ups, too. He's been down right. something neutral get-up quite a few times. Cross-up DI he was looking for, but Ling actually did at the right place, but he went down there and got him. Very similar situation to last game with that 107. That's still deep breathing we fit in front of you. Yeah, we've seen it so many times. Even just this set, and of course, lifetime. One big combo starter, but Ling is going to try and wait it out. And there it goes, as we say. Good Nair catching that jump in from the ledge. Header trying to get some insurance, but still the turnups. You have to deal with them. Yes, and if there's ever an opportunity for you to pressure, it's right now. He's right. going to get deep breathing out because of that. He doesn't get that turn to toss in. However, he's forced to have to recover low. He's going to turn to toss down this time. Yes, he does. Okay, we got one more turn of toss. Header not really stalling anymore. And it, oh, no, barely making it back. The main thing is be careful nice. with how you keep pressuring there because you can also get header spike for that. Right, so right. Ling staying up high. A dash attack does kill now. So yep. he has Ling. that option, but that's just going to do it. We get that game five. I was going to say, like you said, dash attack and kill now. I looked down and I saw the John numbers was at 199. <laughs> that's so. I would love to say it sooner, but I also saw numbers live I dash yeah. attack at 172 with deep right. breathing earlier. So I just I, I'm waiting until I see 200. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unbelievable! And you mentioned though it's because those stocks are not so easy to find. You have yep. to worry about these extended edge guard situations. And when I say extended, I'm trying to stress how extended <laughs> yes. they are. They minute long interactions that we have to sit through. I mean, we love to see. Yeah, it's uh, that mini game of playing this character. You understand that a majority of the game, you are one of the best anti-ledge trappers in the game, right. but that also requires that you are good at when you make a mistake. Yes. You have to be able to play around those uh, situations, which Numbers does do, and Weiss being able to bring the game back each time. Oh, all right, I like that. Little, just a little combo from Ling, put some percentage on. John Numbers fighting back, though. Ling got stuck in shield, mm -hmm. just because of that offensive threat from Numbers finally fighting back, though. Ooh. Dangerous. He was slapping the hell out of that soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> Said, this is a spike if I ever seen one. Oh my goodness. It's so crazy to me too. It's like I feel like Ling won neutral more, but he's behind. I'm not Ooh. sure what happened. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, exactly. This it's, is a scary spot. He tried to get him the air dodge. He wanted that F tilt, but Ling just aggressively landing. God damn. Wow. <laughs> let's it rip. What a good response. I like even the header too, just because it, it's something. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Saturn and on Mr. Deck. Saturn, all right. RNG continues to thrive here in the set. And that time, he goes out there and meets him for it. Not wasting his time now. Mr. Saturn is not. Bro, you you had one job. You were supposed <laughs> to take that hit. And Saturn said, that's all you, boo yeah, I ain't going nah. anywhere near that. <laughs> but I like you, but I mean, like, not. Nah, I, I like that. I like that, bro. <laughs> <like that, Earl. laughs> oh, well, right. I like that. It's like a solid response, though, from John Numbers. Even up the stocks, now stuck on the ledge. But we got Sun Salutation charged up. Okay. Ooh, really good neutral. Love the movement from Ling. Man, Mr. Saturn okay. really left Peach on red on DMs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Could it be me, bro? Like, I don't, you're built different. But. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm going to mid-stage FD. Uh, meet you there? Like, uh, no, I got busy. Forward air. Big damage. Okay, stuck at the ledge. Dangerous Ooh. position, too. That's yeah. only going to keep like building up here. Uh, tries to go for the same setup, but I like what Ling did there. He's always gone for down tilt to bait out the neutral get up and get the free grab. Right. Never tried to jump that time, but he knew he was going to go for it. He already Ooh. tried to cover it with the down air. I love the idea there. Ling baited out the air dodge. Didn't quite get the punish, but still good idea and some good advancement. It's sort of the storyline of the game. There's that down yep. tilt to get that grab. It's that bait the option now. You see yeah. the button, press the button now. React with something. Right. And it's really good at getting that. But against we fit, it's very hard sometimes. And that, again, that Nair, if you see that Nair show up with deep breathing on deck, you could be taking like 60 plus. So you need to be respecting it at all times. All right, there's another early dodge, but numbers going to make it back. The footstool, no follow up. Good roll back from numbers. Most people wouldn't actually roll back in that spot, too, because right. you're afraid of giving up stage positioning, but he had to re-grab, so he tried to go for the uh, the header instead, and Ling knew right, that's a trade at best. Right, right. Oh, I love that. So smart. And now fighting back at the sledge here is so dangerous, too. The neutral air, such a good little combo extender, but John Numbers now with some stage control for the first time in a bit. Let's see if we can make something happen. Ooh, Ooh 
Ooh, the back, okay. the back hit of that too. Good parry that time, but still gets covered by the header trying to go for Ooh. the turn of pull. So he's still building up damage and he's minimizing this. Oh the my bomb. god, Aaron Jesus done bless! Done bless again! No. Done bless again! <laughs> it is not this here Sunday, but Aaron Jesus is in the building once again. Like five stitch faces in that match. It's Mr. Saturn and a bomb. I Let mean, us you know, we say it every year, and I hate. You, you know, were, it was with. I, it's always been with you too. Yeah, we're yeah. like <laughs> every single time. Like AJ, come on, it's not. It's not real, man. There's no way this keeps happening. And then it just keeps happening. It just keeps happening. And this is on the year anniversary True, of yeah. Ling having an incredible bracket run last right, year. Right. But uh. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Please uh, stop! Just <laughs> really oh, just man. chasing poor John Numbers down, throwing that bomb after what was, like you said, an onslaught of funny little items, <laughs> one after another.